guys for talking and what we're doing. Hope everybody's doing good on this Thursday. You can, um, I said I had a, uh, interview today on an, actually a different field that I'm used to. And it was kind of different for me, but, um, the guy was trying to cycle us out to see how we grew up down the first year. I think I did pretty good. You know, I was just like, with the stuff I'm doing with now, hey, I can fit in perfectly. You know, but this morning, it was just, it threw me off because it was just like, I was so excited about my interview, but it just seems like when you're actually focused on something good, there's always that negative stuff that comes popping up. You know, and, um, some of it could be helped and some of it was, you know, it was kind of bad, you know, because I was like, uh, on my Facebook account. And I forgot I was on this page, you know, where it deals with anxiety and depression. You know, people, you know, reach out and help people and, you know, talk to them and don't have nobody else to talk to. You know, and it's just, I guess it's different when you're dealing with yourself. You know, and then you see it from the outside looking in. It's just like really sad because it's like a lot of people think you can just snap out of it. And you, it's, it's like an illness. You can't always just snap out of it. Like, oh, today I want to be happy and I'm not going to be depressed for a while. You know, it, it's just a mind thing. You have to be able to, you know, put yourself in a positive perspective. You know, you got to know yourself. Because um, I was, it, it was just like when I was on Facebook and just started seeing all of those, those different posts of people needing hugs and, you know, why do I feel this way? And I'm just like, oh my God, I just felt hopeless. I just felt like my head was going to explode. And I'm like, I can't. Can't even deal with it right now. <laughs> I said, let me get off of God. I couldn't even really deal with it. It was just so sad. Because it's like, you know, there's so many people that, you know, they actually need somebody to talk to and it's just need somebody to understand them. You, know, you know, be their friend, you know. Um, make them feel like they matter. You know, because they really, you know, even though they could actually have that good support system in their mind, they don't feel that way. You know, and it's a hard thing. You know, that's a hard pill to swallow. You know, and I'm just like, you know, I'm, I battle with it, you know, myself, but I can be able to meditate and, you know, turn the negative into a positive, you know, because I used to be able to think about it and I'll think about it and think about it and I'm like, okay, it's not there for you to ponder about it, it's just for you to know what it is and, you know, okay, accept it for what it was and just keep it moving, you know, before I just, it wasn't easy to do that, you know, now I'm like, you know, uh, thought will come to my head and it's just like, okay, this is something we need to know. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> dang, that really did happen. I'm like, okay, you know, okay, I'll take it for what it's worth and just, you know, just let, let Mother Nature do, you know, do its duty. Let fate deal with it. You know, because I was going with one of my friends and they were going through some really bad stuff that I can really relate to. And, you know, and I was just like, you know, they were upset because, it was just one thing after another after another. And, you know, they they got to that point where they were saying this real messed up stuff. And I said, no, oh, don't worry about that, you know. And I know it's hard for you to say that when you're not dealing with it. But it's just like with my situation, I used to, you know, I'm just like, oh, I wish something happened to me. And I was like, no, you don't want to do that. I said, because it's just like, you know, there's a lot of people that can find out stuff about themselves and they will freaking snap. I don't, you know, I, I think about my children. I can't do that to them. You know, they have, they, they only have one mother. You know, I don't, I would never want to do that to them. I said, um, as for the people that did what they've done to me, I don't wish anything bad on them. I don't think of anything at all. You know, I just feel like, oh, okay, you know, those tables always turn. You know, um, and it was just like when me and my friend were talking about it, I was like, oh, have you seen this movie? Have you seen that movie? And I was like, yeah, you know, I used to watch horror movies all the time. You know, I thought it was just me. <laughs> it was just some, you know, other indigo who was talking about it, a lot of horror movies. I'm like, okay, I thought it was just me. I'm like, ah, oh, dog. It's like, I would watch horror movies back to back to back to back to back, like 24 7. You know, it's okay to watch them sometimes, but. Like all different varieties, that, you know, there's certain stuff you need, you need to not put open your mind to, you know, because some of that stuff is just way out there, and I'm just like, wow, this stuff is crazy, you know, um, especially when I was watching this movie Split, I was like, because if that, you know, I know there's people out there that has 
his orders like that. But it's just interesting with me, you know, it's not something, it can be scary to me. But it's just, I'm fascinated with how the mind works like that. It's just like one personality is it's just like a little child. And the next one is like uh, an older person, you know, like male or female grandparent or whatever. And then the next one is just like a 12-year-old, you know, woman that, that's a diabetic. You know, it's just weird, weird stuff. All of them got different personalities with different strengths and different, you know, weaknesses or whatever. But it was just crazy, you know, but uh, the, the one that I kept on uh, thinking about was like, as a, as a so beloved. Because I kept on seeing, you know, every time I would read up on my angel numbers, it's just like, why do I keep on being as a so beloved? You know, as within, uh, it's like as within, um, so without. You know, it, it's just really deep to me. So I had to really read up on it. It was just basically telling me I need to find myself. I need to know, know more knowledge about myself. So I was just like, oh, learn thyself. That's what you need to do, learn thyself. You know, I, I said, I used to get upset when I think about stuff that went on. And, you know, I'm just like, why? This is not, you know, this is not fair. Why did God let this happen? You know, and God wasn't the one that let this happen, you know. Things were supposed to happen for a reason. And I just feel like, I can't question that. I just know it was just like, even though I, you know, my father's not here, I got a big gift. I was able to, you know, put my videos out, you know, uh, have people watch them, and hopefully they can get something out of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking at myself every day. You know, I'm just only trying to not expose myself to negativity, you know, because I feel like, you know, I was telling a girl, earlier, you know, she's like, you know, I always feel like this, you know, you know, I don't, don't want to feel like that. It's like, you know, a lot of people don't want to deal with them because they're, you know, they're de that depressed. They always lean towards negativity. I say you're like a energy sucker, and a lot of people don't like dealing with that. You know, some people, you know, they feel like they're being a superhero and trying to save you from it, and some people, you know, they just don't want to deal with that. You know, and it's just an up and down thing about dealing with people with depression. You know, um, I told you, you're not alone by yourself. You know, I used to be to a point where, you know, you can be so depressed. You, you've been there for so long, it's hard for you to learn how to be happy. You know, there's so many reasons for you to be happy. You woke up this morning, you're able to look outside and see all the different animals, see cars pass by. You know, a lot of people are not able to do that. You know, there's probably people out there in a worse predicament than us. You know, that's why I have to look at it, you know, every life, you know, every day. It's just like a life of living. You know, that's another day that God's blessed you to actually be here. You know, um, there's people that's talking about, you know, they want to kill themselves and stuff like that. You know, you're here for a reason. You might be going through hell right now, but you're going through it for a reason. There's something that's trying to tell you, wake up, try to correct it, or whatever. You know, find that inner peace, you know. Um, like I do, I just meditate and try to, you know, when I start thinking about the negative things, try to look at it as a positive you know, situation, you know, um, so I just don't know, I just what <laughs> looking at that Facebook today, and it's just seeing all these different things where it's hard for help, and it's just, you know, you start getting all these different thoughts in your head, I was like, you know what, I, I can't deal with this right now, I gotta get ready for an interview, and, and it's, you know, it was like one after another after another, and I said, look what happened, <laughs> you know, I dropped some stuff in, and I'm not supposed to do that, so I had to, you know, I had to shake it off for a minute, and get back to where I was supposed to be, you know, be productive, you know. And I said, I had to learn myself to be productive about what I need to do. So, um, I'm not going to sit up here and take up you guys' this time. I hope everybody's having a good night. And I will talk to you guys in a few. All right, peace. Love. Talk to you later.